Hey y'all, Irix guy here, and I promised to uh, test the DJI Phantom 4 Active Track. That's where it's uh, where it's supposed to track you. It recognizes you, whereas with the previous Phantom 3 Professional, where it was tracking your uh, your controller, which was less than optimal. Obviously, I'll have this in my hand because I want to make sure that that I've got control of the craft should I need it. Uh, but what I want to see happen is have the Phantom 4 chase me around. So without further ado, let's give this an honest attempt. If you watched my first field test, uh, you probably saw that um, that it didn't work out well for me. And I, I attribute that to user error. It was my first time in the field. Um, obviously, I only had one battery, and uh, I don't think it's fair to say that it, that it doesn't work well. So today, I'm going to give it a, a thorough test. Uh, let's plug in our our phone here. I do apologize. I do still have my uh, very long, uh, ridiculously long iOS cable, which makes me look stupid, but it still works. Uh, again, check the link within this video's description. You can find the short iOS cable. I need to, uh, a viewer of mine said, hey man, does Sean Coonery run off with your, uh, with your short iOS cable? And actually, I think that's what happened because I can't find it. So I've got to order myself another one, 400 or below.com. Uh, so we're going to power on the aircraft here. You probably noticed too that I'm still using that silly, looks like a steak case, something that mail order steaks may come in. Um, but I do have a case, and you'll have to check out, uh, I'm going to post a video, but it's a really nice waterproof and ruggedized case. So I mean, this is fun for this. It's actually, it's actually cool because that's small, and it makes landing on it a lot more challenging. So we'll see what happens here. I'm uh, going to get into camera mode. It says I'm disconnected. I may have to, um, let's see. I think it's because I got my Wi-Fi on for this camera. Turn that off. It shouldn't interfere, but something's not syncing up here. Again, with my videos, you know, I show you how it is. So things like this aren't planned, but they just happen. So um, so anyway, uh, we're going to power down the remote. And we're going to power it back up. Got to get synced up here. Now I have updated my firmware. Okay, this paired it up, so I just had to power cycle the uh, the controller. Safe to fly GPS, uh, so I'm in a good uh, good situation here. I do need to format my SD card. Uh, that was something that I that I failed to do. Actually, I think we're probably yeah, it's already formatted. So I'm going to film in 4K, 30 frames per second. Initiating the recording right now. We're recording. I'm going to get it to an acceptable altitude, and then we will initiate the active track.
okay, so it lost me. Don't know how well you can see it in the camera, but it's got me identified, so it's following me. But it did work. It did work quite well. I'm going to take it to a higher altitude. So, so far, so good. So here's what it sees. You can see it sees me. Oops. I just hit the screen. But I do active track and then I click myself and I do go. And now it's tracking me. I've got the green box around me. Now something I'm curious about, you see, you've seen how I've uh, kept my face towards it. I want to see if I turn my back, if it still recognizes me and follows me.
so far so good even with my back turned to it it seems to have a good lock on did you see me right there check it out we're gonna let it follow me again People have asked, can it track objects too? Let's find out. So my conclusion is that the act, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Um, the active track works, but so far it's been kind of hit or miss because there for a while, when it was me, it had a good lock, it followed me around. I'm gonna have to experiment with the initial lock on. I don't know if it's, uh, if it's related to how close I am when I initiate the active track or maybe the color clothes that I wear. The lighting outside today is kind of overcast. Uh, there's a lot of factors that come into play, so I question what will be optimal. But that's my test of the active track again. Not here to doctor anything up, just showing you how it is real time in the field. So as an added bonus, I'm going to land on this case right here.
So that was a successful landing of the DJI Phantom 4. Um, again, I like it. Is it a necessary upgrade from the Phantom 3 Pro? I would say it's probably not. Uh, from a structural perspective, the, the uh, body of it feels a lot better. I like the way the props go on and off. Camera's pretty much the same, although the gimbal does seem to be a little bit more stable in flight uh, with the video. And this thing flies faster than the Phantom 3 Pro, but at the end of the day, I can't recommend it over the Phantom 3 Pro. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to youtube.com forward slash irixguy and stay, stay tuned for thousands more Phantom videos soon. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. I wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm an independent channel and it's viewers like you that help me to continue to grow. I appreciate your viewership and y'all have a good day.